What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We have a lot going on in this video and you will definitely want to watch till the end. Just like all of our Copart auction vehicles, we found more hidden damage and we will go through that, take our busted rim to get repaired and start taking the car apart. So without further ado, let's take a look at all the extra damage and get the video started. All right guys, as far as damage, whenever you bid on something at Copart, really all you can go by is the pictures. And on this car, it was missing a bumper and then two lights. So you'd have to be crazy to think that we were gonna salvage a car based on bumper and two lights. So we had to try to put a little story together and figure out what else could be wrong. So basically with this car being so low, we figured it had to have hit something in the front and ripped some stuff off. So we was hoping it was just maybe a little undercarriage damage, which is not bad damage anyway, but when we get the car, we try to figure out exactly how it got in a wreck. And as we showed you in the last video, the rim was busted, so they probably hit a curb and that completely ripped off the sway bar. And when the sway bar ripped off, it hit this, the radiator fan. Let's see if you can see it. This fan is busted. So we'll have to get all of this new or used. So basically they hit a curb, it hit this, it hit the sway bar, tore that off. I showed this last time, it bent this tie rod. This is damaged. So we have this ordered and this ordered. It should be in maybe tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be on this video. Also, we found that this liner is missing that goes on top yeah. of the tire. So when they tow a car, they bring it to the, the repair shop to get an estimate and they take the car apart. And usually they put the parts in the trunk they didn't do it with this case. Normally they would take the headlights, the wheel liners, the frunk, put it all in the car. And that way when you bid on it, you get all those parts back. But I don't know why they didn't do it. So we got to order, it's on both sides. They took this wheel liner off too. There's no damage over here. So we just had to get the wheel liner for this. Um, and everything's different with this car. To jack it up, there's only four places you could jack it. So we had to get these little, call them pucks. So there's a spot here and a spot over there. You put this in a the hole, then you put your jack and jack it up that way. And you can't really put any jack stands. I put one here, it's not touching. That's just for safety. Like if the car fell, it would catch that before it hit us. So we had to get that, we can't really, put jack stands or oh, we got a charger found one in our local in our city somebody's Tesla got flooded so they sold their charger and it came with a few fitting uh, electrical connections so we got that so now we can go take the rims to the shop get those repaired pick up some tools because we need this See this bolt? It's a Torx, but majority of the time, all our Torx have been female Torx, and that's a male Torx. So I don't have any of those sockets, so we need to go pick some of those up. So we can do that today, because this little bracket is busted, and I need to take that off. That's where your, I think this is the radar, where it puts senses where other cars are. So we'll get another one of those, and Let's get started, get this video going. All right, before we go pick up the busted rim that they got repaired, we're gonna put this trunk back together. That way just the whole back can be done. We have all the trunk parts back there. We got it as clean as we best as we can and we're just gonna put it together and get the whole back finished.
right, so these are the tires right here. I'm gonna take to the tire shop. This rim is busted, and this tire, this tire has a huge cut in the sidewall, so it's no good. And they're gonna try to repair this rim. So we're gonna take this good tire and put on here so I can get back on the car. I'm gonna do all this. Tyler has a detail today. A customer dropped off a car, so he's gonna work on that. We're going, oh, in my truck yesterday, I was driving home and somebody lost a five gallon bucket of latex paint. And I had this grayish paint all over my truck. I still can't get it off my tires, but I got it off all the sides. Still have a little bit here. So hopefully it'll come off the tires after I start driving. Maybe it'll flake off being latex. So let's get this loaded up, go to the tire shop. I gotta go to Harbor Freight. I gotta get a female Torx socket. Tesla has different kinds of bolts on it. So I'm gonna go with that, get that done and get back. Hopefully Tyler will be done with this. We can get to work. We got the rim back, came out great. If you remember, it was busted right here. That's where they hit the curb, and he's got that back round again. He put a, he put a coat of primer on it, so now all we have to do is put this metallic coat on top of it, but he did a really good job, and we should get it 100% later on. Yeah, we're just gonna patch these few little bitty spots right here. And it's gonna be covered up with the hubcaps anyway, so you'll never see it. Also, a subscriber sent us this Tesla flag. We went stop at the P.O. box, and we just wanna say thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Um, they, they didn't send us a letter or anything. All we know is their name and address, but you know who you are, and thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we really appreciate that. It's, we're gonna put that on a wall with all our other flags. We, we might put it right over there. Here. I think we might put it right here. Yeah, maybe move some of that and make that whole wall with flags too. All right, so now we're gonna get on these busted pieces, start removing some of that. So let's get to work. All right, last time I didn't even know what this piece was, but this piece that was tore off actually connected to the sway bar. So we're gonna get this off first. You have to hold it with an Allen wrench. keeps the bolt from spinning. The only thing I'm really worried about is this tie rod. I don't really understand yet how it connects. See how this end was just completely torn off? That's how it should look. And that's what it looks like. All right, let's see about getting this off. Everything seems to look pretty easy on this car. And the reason you can't use jack stands is because this isn't a frame. The frame is all back there where the batteries are and there's no engine up here. So you don't really need a frame. It's just like this little front cradle that just holds the 
the trunk of what I call it a front. So it's, it don't really, you can't really support much weight up here. So that's why you really don't want to use jack stands. But I have this one. There's no weight on it. It's just in case the, the, my jack fails and it falls and it won't fall on me. So this, only other thing I really don't know how to do, I guess you got to get a wrench on this and just try to spin that. But that's that. We're going to take this shock off, these two bolts, and this ball joint, and this arm should come off. So let's do this. I'll even let you do it if you want. Got everything loose and ready to go. All right, we got all the suspension pieces off. Well, most of them. Got this. I don't think this was bent, but we're gonna change it out anyway. This tie rod, I can't really get to it right now, but you have to push this boot over. And then you gotta put a wrench on this big nut, but I don't have one big enough. So I think I need to remove some of this stuff to get to it better we took the plastic cover off because it was busted but on a tesla you have this little radiator this what keeps the batteries cool and then this is your ac condenser and i noticed down here the ac condenser is kind of smashed in which is probably still good i don't think it's leaking but uh, we're gonna we'll probably change that out anyway because we got to get to this fan only way to get to that is disconnect the condenser so you're gonna have to discharge it and then you pull your condenser out from the side so we get that taken apart just keep chipping away a little bit at a time but this thing is dirty all right guys it's the next day good news we got a part that just came in bad news is we didn't we only got the one we didn't get both parts it'll come in in a couple days but we got we got the tie rod off and it has been up and this i didn't realize how bent that was i don't know if you can see it on camera i thought it was just scratched i was changing it just to be safe but good thing it's it's pretty bent so we got that off went ahead and took this the fan off it's completely busted this is the bottom part under the radiator and ac condenser this is the top part it's got air louvers this is the only damage. I think I can repair that with some plastic welding. And that'll save a good bit of money. Also, we just hung the Tesla flag. We have room for one more flag. I don't know what we should buy. You think we should buy like a Toyota TRD Racing? That or wait till our next build. Might be a Porsche, who knows. All right, so let's, let's knock this out. Get this on. Oh, and I ordered AC condenser. I put my AC gauges and it's still holding pressure but it's so bent up on the bottom. It was only $70, so I went ahead and bought a new one of those just to have that changed out. So let's go ahead and get this installed and then get the video out and then the next day we should get the, the next part in. All right, guys, we got the lower control arm all in. We had to end up going 
to get the old jack out of the flood camry to help lower to raise up this back end because the shock was pushing down but other than that it went in perfect um, i didn't torque it down yet because tomorrow the the tie rod will come in and i want to get all that in first and i'll torque it all together so if you like these kind of builds the tesla build click right here for our playlist and you'll see the other video in a in the playlist and hopefully we'll see you in the next video